Hey guys, this is Matt with Mark's Leisure Time Marine and today I'm going to walk you through the 2025 Mastercraft X24. The length on this bow overall is going to be 24 foot 2 inches. We have a seating capacity of 18 people. The overall width of the boat is going to be 102 inches. And it comes in at a staggering 6,100 pounds dry. And it fits a whopping 4,300 pounds of ballast. And it has a fuel capacity of 85 gallons. Starting out on the outside, we've got the boat equipped with the triple axle trailer, which just makes it so much better when you're towing down the road, especially those long hauls that you know, we've got people hauling hour or two hours down the road. The boat is the beautiful magnetic blue flake. Looks absolutely spectacular when you put it in the sunlight and then we've got black everywhere else on it. So guys, some standard features and upgrades to take a look at at the back of the bow. One of which, now standard with all X-Series boats from Mastercraft, is gonna be your surf exhaust. So your surf exhaust is gonna be huge in order to get the exhaust fumes down below the water. That way they bubble up after the rider so you don't get as much of that fume smell. One of the upgrades that we put on this boat is the stern thruster. So this one, you can do a full 360 degrees. It's right on the throttle. It's super easy to use. When you're going into that restaurant or you know if you're parking at the dock, it's super easy just to hit that thruster and it brings it right to where you're docking. Another thing to mention is the Surf Star technology. So the Surf Star is gonna be your wave plates and then as well as your actuators. Mastercraft is using Parker Hannifin actuators now. So they are much more accurate they use a, a position sensor as opposed to a time sensor and they are much, much stronger than the previous ones. Another wonderful feature on the 2025 X24 that we put on here is the submersible swim platform. So that's what I'm standing on right now. It tucks way underneath so that, that way when you're chilling, when the boat's off and parked, it's a good hangout spot. Moving up towards the back, you've got a lot of space to hang out here as well. These are gonna be the surf seats. So they're nice and deep. There's a lot of cushion there. They're super comfortable. You've also got your grab handles right here. And what's nice about these seats is that they actually flip up. So you've got full storage underneath if there's no ballast in here. So if you want to throw any surfboards, wakeboards when you're done, so that way you don't have to ask people inside the boat to get up. That's super nice. And then you've also got the flip up backrest in here as well. So that way, if you're going down the lake, you have a nice little headrest and it's super comfortable to enjoy. Boarding the X24, you see that we have this nice area filled with sea deck. It's nice and grippy when you're getting inside the boat. There is a new step right on the top of this cushion and then right on the bottom, so it's a nice, easy transition into the boat. One of the great things that I love about this top right here is that I call this my pizza oven. So if you guys are in the Northeast and you have a cold day out in the lake, this is going to use the engine temps to really heat up that life jacket before you go out for another set. One of my favorite features about this boat is going to be the flip back seat back right here. And not only do you get a couple more people facing backwards, but you've also got this seat that flips up and then you have another one right here. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six people that can all face backwards and enjoy the show that's behind them. Tower that we put on this boat is Mastercraft Z8 Hydrolock Tower. So you've got a button right up here at the top. Uh, so when you press that button, it releases the hydraulics so that we can put the tower down. I've also outfitted this one with the camera so that way you can see it from the dash, whoever is behind you. Um, we've outfitted the speakers. It's the S85 big can speakers from Klipsch Audio. Also moving over to the side, you've got clamping and swivel board racks was outfitted with a ton of storage. So one thing that they're famous for is what we call the butterfly storage. So this is when your front and your back cushion, they see through all the way to each other. So that whole entire thing is one storage area. So for big surfboards and stuff, super easy to stuff those in there. 
You've also got underneath this seat, everything is storage. You've got a nice little net for your uh, ropes and such, wallets, keys, phones, all that good stuff. And then sneaking over to this side, this is where your cooler is gonna be placed. Obviously this is removable. You don't have to have it there so it can turn into more storage as well. The decadence flooring has to be one of my favorite things about the boat. It's nice and easy if you want to clean it out. You literally just take it up, uh, take it out on the dock, hose it off, and it's clean. Another great thing about this boat is it does have the chargeable wireless pads right here. So that way it gets your phone out of the sun. You don't have to worry about it. If you sneak up a little bit to the observer seat, you do have an observer keypad right here so that way you can control sound and switch songs and all that good stuff. Moving to the helm area of the brand new X24, there are a lot of changes here that you'll see. So first things first, let's start out with the chair. The chair is outfitted completely different. It's got a nice breather hole in the back. And you also have these very nice leg cutouts on the side. So that way when I'm turned and I'm talking to my crew, I'm nice and comfortable. I'm not leaning over a chair, I'm leaning right through it. So it's really nice and comfortable. Another thing that's new over on this side, right next to my throttle is my My Drive. So this is gonna control everything on my dash um, that I can do right from here instead of touching it. And I also have the quick go-to's as far as my speed, my tab, and then I can even switch sides right from here, um, which is super nice. Moving up right here is where I find all my volume settings. So it's a nice easy turn to blast the volume. Moving over, we've got a brand new dash setup on this one. So you now have standard dual screen dash with the X series boats. Um, what this one has is it's gonna have the same exact system. You're gonna have the one through seven. So you just pick your wave. Seven is the steepest, one is the most mellow. Pick whichever one. It's gonna set your speed, it's gonna set your tab, and it's gonna set your ballast as well. Moving up to the bow of the boat, a couple things to point out is you do still have your trash can right there, there where it was previously located. Um, you have your windscreen door that closes. That way, if it's a cold day out in the water, you can stay nice and warm. A couple things that I like about the bow area is that you do have your flip down armrest. So it makes it super comfortable whenever someone is sitting in the bow. You also have a ton of storage up here. So this is where the butterfly storage comes into effect. And then you also have the same thing mirroring on the other side. So covers, boards, all that kind of stuff fits very well. What I absolutely love about the Mastercraft bow, especially on this boat, is that it's the pickle fork style. So what that means is it's super wide going in the front. That way I'm five foot seven. When I sit down on here, I am very comfortable and I don't have to share my leg space with anybody else. And I can also fit somebody else up here with me. So there's a ton of space up here. It's a very comfortable bow.